Good morning, everyone. We are live this morning, this Sunday morning, episode 42 of Spirit Sessions of View of the Light. And we have our special sisters today with us, and we're so excited to have them with us because when we get together, it's quite an energy jump here. And we want you to all like our page, Spirit Sessions of View of the Light, and follow us so you can get uh, notifications when we pop up live. Um, that's very important. And please share us out because whoever shares us out the most today will win a reading with Bex Marie next week. Um, I will announce the winner. Um, so today we want you to know that we are all gathered here today to do some group guidance some group healings, and we also want to talk about a special uh, event that we are all joining together. So, Teresa, do you want to introduce our wonderful guests who are with us today and our good friends? Ooh, it would be so honored. Each of these women has touched me in the deepest and most inspiring of ways, and it has changed my life. Garolani, for instance, I knew when I met her that Kara was going to be one of my next teachers, and she has taught me things that have brought the gift of mobility back to me, let alone all the Qigong moves that I do every morning is because of you. I do it out there in the dark, beneath the clouds, or, or, or Orion, whoever's out that day, <laughs> and there I am, so I want to thank you. And then Haley Lynn, oh my God, she is the goddess of lucid dreaming. She is an amazing lucid dreaming. And I would like to welcome you guys to our show with Bex and Rhonda and me today. Welcome. Thank you. So happy to be here with you guys. Always super fun. Thank so you. We so have much. been working behind the scenes for something special coming up. Kiara, would you like to describe what we've been working on? Hmm. So I, I just want to start by asking our audience. So if you are, if you're watching us live, I'd love to hear some feedback here. Who out there has been struggling to turn on your power of manifestation? Who out there feels like you have been studying and practicing the law of attraction and you still don't seem to be attracting what you want to attract in your life. I know for me, and I, I hope I get some responses. I know I didn't pause very long. I'm used to like raise your hand and I can't <laughs> see anybody and I can't see the comments. So I don't know if anyone's commenting. So somebody's going to check on that for me. But I know for me, it took a while for me to really understand. I kept saying, well, what am I doing wrong? I'm doing all the things I'm, that everyone's telling me to do. I'm, I'm like listening to Abraham Hicks and I'm getting all of these great ideas and then it doesn't seem to be working. And so if you're like me, if you're getting frustrated because you're doing all of those tricks that you're seeing out there and it just isn't working, then this is the workshop for you because we, all five of us, have been studying and practicing various manifestation techniques to various degrees of success for many, many years. And we are going to join together and share with you what really works and what you may be missing that is stagnating your manifestation practice and how to really bring all of these ideas and tools into play in your life in a way that actually works. And so, um, so what are we calling this, ladies? I know I, we, I always get a little tongue-tied when it comes to names. Um, this is a, yes, yes, this is, yeah. this is the next level manifestation mastery course. This is not just come play with manifestation. This is are you ready to take a quantum leap in your manifestation practice so that 
you really can be living that life that you see for yourself and having the tools to step into serving your true purpose. Because when we are not feeling the abundance, we can very often block not only our own manifestation, but even our ability to serve others and serve our true purpose. And so this is just a little bit about what we're offering. <laughs> it's hard to only talk about a little bit though, right? Because we want to be like, but it's okay. So organically this came together because we were all recognizing how we've all been really purging some really deep stuff lately and kind of going through a lot of emotions, you know, and really feeling heavy at times and dense at times. And what's the point of learning how to manifest if you can't manifest even in those really heavy, dense times, right? It's not just about being all light and fluffy all the time and bringing all your stuff to fruition in that light energy. We're going to experience, high, you know, highs and low vibrational energies because we're here on this planet at this time doing this transmutation work, really anchoring in all the good stuff, but also working through the heavy stuff. So we want to be able to learn and, and grow in that energy as well, right? So we wanna be able to manifest even when we're feeling like we're doing a lot of really deep healing work, which can be tough sometimes. So that's where this came from is because we all were just like, you can't just manifest when you're in a great mood and happy because it's not feasible to be in that space all the time. We wanna be able to understand manifesting from a place of also doing the work, right? And manifest through that work. So that was, that was kind of the backstory. Mm -hmm. Yes, very well said, yeah. Beth. And, uh, absolutely. I I know myself, I can remember times when I was like, all I have to do, I everybody told me all I have to do is feel it and then yeah. it'll come to me. But how do I feel that way when I'm really struggling? And And so this is the deeper underlying work. And so thank you for really pointing to that, Bex. That is absolutely um, what we are here doing together. Yeah. It's, it's powerful when you can manifest from that space instead of just being all light and fluffy, you know? And we're gonna address all the different aspects of that as well. We have to, you know, four different um, segments that we're gonna do. And we're starting, we're doing them on really powerful dates. So the first one's gonna be on 11-11. Um, we're really anchoring this in for the collective, you know, so that we can all start to really grasp the understanding of the true manifestation, no matter what's going on in your life, you know, that you can really understand how to be able to step into your power, you know, because we're, it's, it's we're not in a place, right, we're not in a place where it's like, hey, everything's great all the time, everything's happy and fun, and, you know, we never have to go through, we're here to do the work. That's why we're here, you know, so yes. that we can experience more high vibrational energy, but we can't get there unless we're here right now doing this work. So I think mm -hmm. it's so important for us to be able to celebrate that we're doing the work, you know, and enjoy doing the work, knowing that it's actually helping us to have more good stuff, right? Mm. Yes, and then I love how you said we're doing the work for the collective because a lot of the density that we feel is because we are all connected as part of the collective. And that doesn't just mean the people that we choose to bring into our sphere of influence. It really actually does mean all of the people on the planet. And there is some heavy shit going on on this yes. planet that we yeah. as light workers are really working to transmute. And that doesn't mean we can just like dissolve all the bad and now it will just all be good. It doesn't right. work that way. It's actually really deep, heavy shit that we are working with. And there are people that are struggling in ways that most of us can only imagine what that would feel like. And so, and so sometimes we also get really hard on ourselves. We're like, well, why, why should I be worried about my life when I know there are people actually starving out there? And, um, and to even give ourselves permission to manifest goodness in the face of what's going on in the world, for our compassionate hearts, that can be challenging. And yet we're not going to help the starving children by 
starving ourselves. We're only going to help those people by learning how to create that better reality for ourselves and our loved ones. And then we can slowly ripple that out to help the rest of the world. Yeah, being able to work with all emotions, that's not just teaching us how to manifest, but it's teaching us how to like heal ourselves. All of these blockages, all of these emotions, all of these things we're not, we're, we, we don't deserve for some reason, or we're not capable of receiving, all of that gets ripped away. And so it's really just stepping into your power and receiving healing through this process as well. So very powerful. Mm-hmm. That's great. Um, so, um, as sort of a kickoff and to high vibe everybody up, I know people are saying all over the world, some people's feeds are really good today. Some people's feeds are kind of messy. We look good on Facebook through what I'm looking on. Some people are saying they're having connection problems. I'm not sure if that's a worldwide thing Every or place not. Can still be good though. Yeah, when I'm looking on, on my other monitors, we're all good coming in. So I'm hoping everybody else is... Um, um, feeds clear up. I'm calling in uh, Archangel Metatron and Archangel um, Zadkiel to come in and help with the tech all over. Gabriel. Um, Gabriel, yes, for the communications, that's excellent. And so everybody can call in their angels and clear up their tech. Um, who wants to start off with a card for our group, for the group reading today? We thought we'd send out the group and with the cards, we'll send some healing along with them. How does that sound, ladies? I, I got a card that I, I thought was perfect for all that we're talking about. Okay. I pulled the hedgehog. Do the hedgehog hear? What the heck does the hedgehog have to do with this? But hedgehog is reminding us to be a magnet for the light, the love, and the joy. And how do we do that? by dealing with our shit. <laughs> That's the only yeah. way we got to deal with it, clear it out, not sit there and analyze it, not sit there and dwell in it, but let it Work be with dealt it. with. Yeah. When we name it, we own it. It's over. It loses its power over us. Now we can mm-hmm. move on and we can absorb these energies just like this hedgehog does, who also, by the way, works with Archangel Gabriel. And through the aura of the hedgehog, all of those light, love, and joy radiates out. When we are a magnet to this, it fills us up and we radiate it out. But we can't do that if we're not dealing with our emotions, if we are ignoring them, if we are pretending that we are happy. That's not how it works. We have come here to be the human beings. We could have incarnated anywhere, but here we chose the people who were emotional and who heal themselves through the emotions. So here's what we're doing, and this is our time. And so that's why Hedgehog has come through. It's time for us to resonate at a higher vibration. Mm. Kenzel says oh, she's been I seeing Hedgehog that. lately too. So oh, that's right so on. pretty, pretty wow, cool. Wow, I love that. As you were talking, Teresa, I was just feeling that how the hedgehog has that like prickly exterior and and then also how the hedgehog can like curl up into a ball to protect the soft, tender parts. And so I was feeling called to really um, send this out to anyone who feels the need for a little extra protection. Maybe you've been feeling really sensitized and taking on other people's emotions unnecessarily. And so I'm really just visualizing right now, sending a bubble of protection that goes all the way around from over the crown of your head to under the soles of your feet, all the way around in all directions, just a a safe place, a sanctuary, a sanctuary of light that you can retreat into when you need to feel safe and protected so that you are only absorbing the highest vibrations and you will um, then be able to emerge into the light, shining your true essence out into the world. 
beautiful. Yeah, I can really see the hedgehog with the little points of light coming <laughs> off him. Oh yeah, all the little beaming, points. beaming it out to the world. That's mm -hmm. so that. So the card that I had come up, which I actually saw it before it came out of the deck, it jumped out right after I saw it, but it's have faith, you know, Ooh. bringing in the mermaid energy where they're all about the manifesting and having fun and all of that. But having faith is so important to be able to move through this, even when things seem a little bumpy or a little off or a little confusing, or you're just feeling lost, which I know I've been feeling a little bit lately here and there. And it's really important that in those moments that you let your faith guide you because even faith the size of a grain of rice is enough to change your life. It's enough to open up for miracles and blessings. Right? We don't have to always be in this space of huge faith and just trusting um, completely all the time. Sometimes you can have those doubts and that's okay. That's part of your process and being able to open up to understanding why, where the programming happened in your life that allowed for that doubt to creep in and how you can really address that doubt and heal that doubt, right? Because as we see these experiences where the doubts come in, we can say, okay, I don't want that to be part of my experience anymore. How do I shift my perspective to make sure that I am now focusing on the things that I do want, right? I stop allowing myself to fall into that rabbit hole of negative thoughts and negative emotions, right? Without feeling attached to them, because we do that as well. If we feel something, we're like, oh, this reminds me of when I went through this. Now I'm allowing myself to go through this all over again, yeah. right? right? And that's when we start right. to lose faith. Well, I already went through that. Why am I feeling it again? So we go back into that faith of knowing that if we're feeling or experiencing emotions that may be uncomfortable, it's for a reason. It's really so we can self-love, you know, ourselves back into, you know, complete health. And that's where our wealth is, right? Our wealth is yes. our divine health. It's our, you know, mental health. It's our emotional health. It's our spiritual health. It's our physical health. That's what true wealth is. And that's what allows us to really be in alignment in that vortex of soul mission, soul purpose, of being in that oneness with the collective, of being able to move through this life in the most joyful way possible. So it says your prayers are manifesting, remain positive and follow your guidance. Okay, so that's what the mermaids are bringing through right now. And it's really just allow yourself even in the moments of feeling like everything's kind of upside down to have that faith, even a little bit. That little bit of faith is going to get you through, okay? And we're all here holding space for that. And that's what they're bringing. Yeah, so beautiful. I love the water in that card, the, the yeah. water splashing up and... Um, at the fir at first, when you were talking about that, I was really feeling into those ancestral beings and the angels that are behind you. And you can really, when you're really struggling with doubt, you can really tune into that space behind you and just feel into who's back there that I can trust, because sometimes it does feel like a trust fall. And then as I started thinking about that, I was... Um, an image came into my mind of floating in the ocean and there's a particular beach in Hawaii where instead of sand, it's all round pebbles. And if you go out when the ocean is more calm and you can go out past the break and float there, then you can hear those pebbles rolling with each wave. And it's like this and there's something about that, like floating with your ears under the water and listening that really turns on that ability to let go. And then um, I, as you were talking, I pulled this one that is called Diving for Light. And she has these seahorses on her ears. There's a very strong ocean connection here. And diving for light is all about how just, it's all about like the what Bex was talking about, about how manifestation doesn't always come because we're in the light. Sometimes we have to go deep into the dark shadow places to really find that light. And so allowing yourself to look at those parts of yourself that you tend to hide from, hide from others, 
is actually the place where you will find your most powerful gifts that you are brought here to bring to the world. And so really tuning into when you feel that density, when you feel those heavy emotions, look inside and ask, what is that gift that is there for you? And if you can't see it, maybe you need to ask someone else to go on that journey with you. And, you know, all five of us are powerful healers in our own right. Each one of us has methods to help you on that journey. And, and so if you can't wait for the manifestation workshop on 11.11, where we'll be going on this journey together, we are here for you at any time to reach out and get a consultation and some advice and a, a private session with. And this is a journey that as light workers, we have to dive deep to really find that light sometimes. So we are in it together. Don't ever think that you are alone in this journey. Even when, even though it is something you do for yourself, by yourself, you don't do it alone. We are in this together. I love that. Kind of goes with, um, I actually pulled two cards because one fell out and I love how all of this just keeps tying back together. Um, so the first card I have is beginnings, which is the very first card of the deck, which is amazing. And then I have fulfillment. So I really think this means like now is the time. I mean, we're talking about manifesting. We're talking about finding our true self and actually letting that shine. And I feel like this is a sign that there will be new beginnings, but we have to do the work first and we have to believe that we can. A lot of a lot of our fear comes from doubt or not being willing to take the steps forward. But now is the time because it's such powerful energies right now. And something interesting with manifesting is really knowing that everything is already created. I mean, from a scientific perspective, we can only see visible light, which is only 1% of our experience, which means there are things around us that we just can't see with our limited vision. So just because you don't see immediately what you want or see the change you want doesn't mean that it's there. I mean, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So you don't have to worry about creating anything that you want. You just have to worry about stepping into that energy and that power and owning it. And I mean, we're made up of atoms, which is proven to be 95 to 99% empty space. That's empty space. That's energy that we can actually influence and use to quantum leap exactly what we're talking about. So really trust that this is a new beginning. And I feel like everything kind of works off expectation and intention. As long as you do the work and you are working towards the result that you want, and you actually really do step into your power this time and already see it like it's already yours. You know, it's not just about, you know, happy thoughts, try, trying to visualize it in my head. It's really feeling, being in that power because I love to throw in the science of it because it makes so much sense to me. Time is nonlinear. That means if you want to create this life, you need to step into it now. You need to step into it before you actually physically see it. Lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. And I feel like once we realize that, it will really change our manifestation game. So know that this is a beginning, but it's also your time to begin to step into that greater power that we have. So really powerful cards. And I love how everything just ties together with what we pull. It, it's so super. And, and the one card that I pulled, well, it jumped out. So it was... The snake. Oh, the snake is back. Ooh, the snake <laughs> is back. Shedding the old. And, and it kept coming to my head, you know, if you do the same things and expect different results, that's the definition of insanity. And yes. what we really have to do is look at what we're doing, whether it's in relationships or, uh, or in finances or any part of our life, if we're doing the same thing and expecting to shift our life, it, it's not possible. We have to try the new things. We have to do the new things. We have to expect different outcomes because our actions become different on this side. We have to let go of that old story of lack, of I can only get this kind of a partner. Um, you know, everything is always, you know, there's always a cloud on my sunny day. 
you know, we have to let go of that story and leave it behind because that is the past. And whether it's linear or um, non-linear, we don't have to attach ourselves to things that have happened in our past. We can let mm. them go. We cut those cords. These are things we're going to learn in the, our manifestation work, workshop. We're going to have tools and healings to help you actually drop those cords that pull you back to those old stories that are keeping you from living the life you want to live. And, and then we have to also shed that skin of what a good life is and what a full life is it's not only monetary it's what brings us joy because we see in celebrity all the time they have everything but they they have a shitty life <laughs> seriously they have all the money and all the fame in the world but really when you get down to it would you change trade your pile of problems for their pile of problems probably not no. so we have to learn to um in this workshop will help you to learn to find your joy and to find what really actually fills your cup and what what you can do going forward. So mm -hmm. the shedding the skin, I just love that snake. That snake yes. again. That's funny. It's snake. Yeah, keeps uh, sneaking up on us. Yeah, the so, um, yeah, yeah. So, snake is also the symbol of the goddess, and and so. Um, the, re the, we the reason the ladies keep saying, oh, here comes the snake again, is because part of us joining in this collective was around this symbology of the snake. And as you were talking, Rhonda, I was feeling that sense of when we first shed the old skin so that we can grow and expand, we emerge in this softened, tender phase. And there's um, there's kind of an instinct and urge to like harden that off as quickly as possible so that we can be protected. And this is why practicing in community, like we're suggesting you join us in our workshop and come, we're, we're going to be on a Zoom call together. So it will really be like we're in a virtual classroom where we all can see each other and feel each other and share our tender hearts because when you first shed those skins that have been protecting you, though that protection, that armor has served a purpose, but it also can become a weight that you carry. And then when you first shed it, you're allowing yourself to be soft and tender and open in ways that may feel uncomfortable. And so that's why we will be here to hold you in that loving space of allowing yourself to let go and allowing yourself to step into your true courage to create like Rhonda was saying it's not about the number on that piece of paper that you stick in your bank account it's about the representation of what you create gives to you in your heart of hearts, in your essence of being. And this is like that fulfillment card that Haley pulled in order to have fulfillment and feel full, because that's what fulfillment means, right? That we feel full. We have to allow that falling away and we have to allow ourselves to take that first step. So I love how the new beginnings and the fulfillment came together because we have to take that first step and sometimes it can feel like we're about to step off of a cliff and to have that little seed of faith that Bex brought in can be a really big challenge. So joining in sisterhood, joining in community, sistren and brethren all together to um, share and uplift each other and reflect that we really are not in it alone. We're in this together, just like the trees in the forest are all sharing nutrients. That's what we are offering to you is a sharing of nutrients and that is where the empowerment really comes in, I believe. And as we've been talking, there's this mantra that I saw this week, 
that I've been working with as well is really powerful and it goes like this. I am at peace with my past. I am in love with my present. I am excited for my future. And I think that is so perfect for what we're bringing in because it's really just, oh, it gave me chills as we were talking about it. I was like, I have to bring that through. It was, yeah. I saw it on Facebook. I was like, that's perfect. I'm saving that forever. (laughs) Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's so what we need to be focusing on, bringing all this in. Mm -hmm. And Kira, I have to say, when you were talking about the rocks moving in the water, when we had our meeting last, like last week, you said something about how you thought you heard a rain stick. And that's exactly what I thought of when you were talking about the rocks moving. And I'm like, wow, she totally knew this was coming in. (laughs) She was going to be sharing this because you made that noise. And I was like, the rain stick, right? So it's funny how all these energies are just so flowy and coming together. And this is such an organic process. Like we're not having to work really hard to do any of this. It's all coming through us very easily, very gently, you know, as if this is just the perfect time for this to be, you know, for all of us to be stepping into this next level of manifesting. You know, it's, it's just been so beautiful to be able to connect with these amazing goddesses and to share in this, co- you know, this creative process and allowing it just to come together. And we're so excited for everybody who's going to come and join us and really harness this in. And Oh, it's going to be great. It just feels mm-hmm. so amazing and, and profound what we're bringing through. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. And because we really want to give you all the fullest experience and the opportunity to really share Um, we are going to have limited seating so that we can all be on the screen together sharing our hearts. And, um, and so we want to invite you to register soon. Um, I don't know if we actually made the event page, so we, maybe we should, um, just right now spontaneously pick the time when registration is actually opening and get that all lined up for our guests so that they can jump in. Well, we do have early registration open right now where we have a um, a really good deal that they can get, purchase all four for, uh, it's a lower price than we're gonna offer after Halloween. I think it's open, the early registration's open until Halloween. Um, And if anybody's interested, they can message us either here at Spirit Sessions or comments in the, on the video, or you can also message us on the Sacred Sisterhood guidance page um, as we're getting the event set up and everything. But anybody who's interested in purchasing, you get all four for, you know, a, a really good deal. So let us know if you're interested and we will be happy to discuss that with you. Um, after that, it'll be regular pricing that we've discussed and uh, we'll have the option. I think you can purchase, because we're doing one session a month. Um, so the first one will be 11, excuse me, 11, 11, and then the next one will be 12, 12, and then we're going to transition into the new year and have the first, you know, the first day of the new year is going to be our third session. And then, um, two, two will be our last one where we bring it all together. So it's going to be amazing, powerful stuff. Yeah. And I really encourage purchasing the package, the four sessions, because they are really going to work together. This first one that's coming up on 11.11 is all about, like Bex was saying, manifesting when you're in the shit, when you yes. like, nothing is going right. Yes. And, and we don't really want to leave you there, even though you're going to get some great tools. We want you to come along with us for the next step and the next step and the next step. And the magic sacred four is um, is really where you're going to be having all of the tools in place that we have to offer you through this process. Because with five of us, you can imagine we can only each fit in so much in one session. And we really want to give you the whole gift. And so that's why we're offering um, the package of four if you get in by the end of the month. Thank you for reminding me, Bex. It's been a while since our meeting. So I was mm-hmm. like, what was it that, how were they supposed to register again? <laughs> um, so I will, um, I will be creating a link, but for now, just reach out to any one of us or on our Sacred Sisterhood page and 
get in, um, get your four for 144 and um, if you need to make a deposit to hold your seat, then we can work with you. Just talk to one of us so that we can make sure that you get save your seat. We need at least like some deposit commitment so that we can save that spot for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Do we want to share what the sessions will be called? Because we came up with a theme. Yeah, I like. Do we want to share that? Okay. Yes, I have it down right here. Let's do it. Okay. So because we were talking about, we were all just really like kind of frustrated and and feeling overwhelmed with the density. We were all transmuting, and so it was. The first session is called "So You're in the Shit Now What?" Right. So what are you going to do once you're there? How do you work with that? The second session, which will be on 1212 is learning how to appreciate the shit. The third session, which is on 1 1, is how to use the shit to fertilize your dreams. And the fourth one, which is on 2 2, is now you've got the good shit. So that's what we're running our theme with because we feel it's really important just to acknowledge that while the shit may feel bad, it's not always bad. And you really can use it to manifest everything that you desire. You know, so we're really going to teach that and it's going to be one step at a time so that you can really um, integrate and really absorb the information that we're going to be sharing. And you'll get a recording as well. So anybody who can't show up on those dates will get a recording. Anybody who's, everybody who signs up will get a recording. So that way you can watch it over and over again and kind of allow all of those pieces to come together so you can watch them anytime. Um, so it's really just a very valuable package that's really going to it's going to shift your whole perspective of manifesting and how you can really use every part of your journey as that fuel to manifest your dreams. Mm. And the, the healing will be encoded in there every yes. time. So if you need it to living on a farm, I know how important shit is. So um, <laughs> to <laughs> growing things and I use it in my garden and it's, it's true. We have to learn from it. So, yeah, I'm so excited for this coming up. Um, anything else, Haley or Teresa? I'm just really excited because we're getting to connect with a community and we're all working towards the same thing. We're all learning how to quantum jump into the reality that we desire to be in. And so it's something that's really, really special. And it's not just like one class, the four classes, it's truly a process. It gives us all time to integrate it and really see the difference right in front of us. And I really think it's going to be very powerful as a collective, everyone working towards this beautiful thing together. So I'm really excited. And I know we have yes. tons and tons of information to share. So definitely want to see where this goes and be with as many people as we can through this process. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, thank you all for joining us. Uh, Bex, have you got some announcements besides what we have here? I do. So, um, as you know, we offer uh, Share It Out, where everybody who shares it out can, has an option or opportunity to win with um, one of us for a healing or a reading. And so the winner of last week who shared it out the most won a healing through your record session with Rhonda, and that is Lynn Marie. So congratulations. Rhonda will be contacting you to set that up. And whoever shares out the most this week is going to win a mini reading with me, which is super fun. So I'm excited to do that. So share it out, share it out with your friends, invite people in. You can share it well past, you know, the time that we've aired live. We have this next week. You can share it out all over the place. Um, we have Nancy Louise on here who shares out like crazy. So you have to compete with her because we know she's got this already. And Kenzel as well, who's one of our amazing supporters. Yes. Um, we are so grateful for all of you for, you know, hanging out with us and, um, yeah, it's, it's, we just love our community. You guys are just amazing. Mm -hmm. And to be able to bring this stuff through and connect with everybody is just such a blessing every single time we get to show up. So thank you for holding space for us and giving us the opportunity to do this every Sunday and, you know, all the stuff that's coming. It's going to be amazing. And I think that's everything. If you're interested in this, this awesome workshop that we're talking about, you know, say yes in the comments or hit us up, message us on either Spirit Sessions or Sacred Sisterhood Guidance, and we'll be glad to get back to you and discuss it further and get you set up. It's going to be a really powerful 
expansive, very expansive workshop. So you have to be ready to really open yourself up to growth um, and perspective shifts. And it's, we're launching, you know, we're really launching into this next phase. We're done being small people. <laughs> ready. So remember, please, to like and share and follow our page because uh, next week we have a really exciting guest as well on. Um, and every week we bring you interesting people from across the globe from, in all sorts of different modalities and with all sorts of different information. And uh, we just want to expand your mind and give you healing and joy every week. So we love if you would follow our page. That way you get the notifications when we go live, which is live every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Somebody's here. So. <laughs> Somebody. And don't forget to check out the Sacred Sisterhood Guidance page where we all yes. five come together and we offer a part of the day for the weekdays. We don't do the weekends because we give ourselves time off. Um, we also uh, go live sometimes and, and do parts and stuff like that. Um, we're just bringing through a lot of stuff. So check us out and like the page. And also the Spirit Sessions YouTube page, YouTube yes. channel. There it is. Don't forget to check us out there where you can see all of our shows for free. And uh, yeah, it's we've got everything. There's so many amazing guests we've had. So if you're interested in more, then check us out there. Like and subscribe and share out those videos too, please. Um, and don't forget to check out Haley. She's an amazing dream goddess. And she has, what's your page, Haley, so people can follow you there. It's the Lucid Mystic Altered State Spiritual Life Coaching. You can actually find it just in the About section of my um, regular profile page. There you go. And Kira, yeah. would you tell everybody how they can find you? Yeah, I am, <clears throat> I am Kira Lani Tree Gong Healer on Facebook. And I would love to invite you all to join my Unleash Your Inner Healer group, which you will find right there on my page. And lots of lots of good stuff there for healing and expansion as well. Thank you. And of course, Rhonda, Teresa, and I all have our pages, which the links are somewhere. Listed they're in the somewhere. comments today. They're there. I'll put them in the comments. <laughs> yep. I'll put them in the comments today. I know they're around somewhere. <laughs> Rhonda's got it. So yeah, check I'm us all something. out, and uh, thank you all for the support. We love you guys so much. And our, our lovely goddess sisters here, thank you for hanging out with us. You guys are amazing. We can't wait to see what we're going to do. This is going to be fun. Oh, yeah. So excited. So excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a blessed week, everybody. Thanks very much. Namaste. Bye.